Have you ever wondered how tape works? Well, if you think the answer is by being sticky, you're not thinking hard enough. Sticky tape is what is known as a viscoelastic material, which means that it has properties of both a solid and a liquid. When you leave it alone, it stays solid or turns back into a solid, but when you apply pressure to it, it flows like a liquid, filling up any cracks or gaps in the thing that you're sticking it to. The thing that you're sticking it to, in case you want to sound super smart while you're hanging up posters for your junior prom or whatever, is called the substrate. And that same pressure that makes the adhesive act like a liquid also causes it to form weak molecular bonds, called van der Waals bonds between it and the molecules of the substrate. Van der Waals bonds are what you get when molecules experience electrostatic attraction. See, stable molecules are electrically neutral. They don't have a positive or negative charge, but neutral molecules can still be dipoles, meaning that they can have one side with a positive charge and another side with a negative charge. This makes the molecule as a whole act like a tiny magnet. And the adhesive in sticky tape is made up of those dipoles, so the pressure you apply when you stick it to your face forces the molecules of the adhesive and the substrate into close contact, which is when all those tiny magnets start sticking together. When you stop applying pressure, the adhesive goes back to behaving like a solid, which locks it into the substrate, gripping it like a piece of a jigsaw puzzle. Of course, while you rip the tape off, you break the van der Waals bonds, and then you can stick the tape to something else, apply pressure, and start the whole process over again. At least until the surface of your tape has too much dust and gunk bound to it to make contact with the substrate anymore. If you have a quick question you'd like us to answer, let us know. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, in the comments below, and if you want to keep getting smarter with us here at SciShow, just go to youtube.com slash SciShow and subscribe.